Hey everyone, welcome to Thread Faction Sewn. It's confession time. I might as well come right out and admit it. This week, instead of doing real work, I've spent most of the week playing around with freezer paper stencils. So, you know that cute dress that I've been previewing in the Facebook group? That's gonna be about a week later than scheduled. But if I feature the designs on Thread Faction Sewn and do a blog post and hook you guys up with some free downloads, that makes it totally legit, right? So I started playing around with freezer paper stencils when I was designing the ring of raglan pattern for One Thimble Issue 20, which is what we're gonna sew up today. But you can use freezer paper stencils to customize just about anything. If you've never tried it before, I've done up a blog post with all the instructions and both of these designs as free downloads. So check the description box for the link and head over and check it out. In the meantime though, we're gonna sew up the ring of raglan pattern from start to finish. So let's get started on that. A raglan tee is a really fast sew. Shoulder seams, neckband and sleeve bindings, side seams and hems and you're done. Just make sure you don't hurry and sew your sleeves on backwards. I have done that more than once. Just a quick aside here, you can absolutely use your overlocker or serger to sew everything in this pattern except for the top stitching and the hems. So if you've got one, go ahead and do that. If not, check out our extra clip on sewing seams with your sewing machine and you're away. The links are in the description. The Ring of Raglan has band or binding options for the neckline and sleeves. We're going to mix it up for you guys today with one of each. If you've not sewn bands or bindings before, we have a more detailed clip that takes you through it step by step. The links are in the description. So, iron. And so. Then, top stitch. Iron. And so.
Then, top stitch. Right, we're looking good. Side seams next. Now I always start at the sleeve end, since I'm virtually allergic to pinning. And if I start at the sleeve end and work through to the hem, then the end that's gonna be out, if it's a little bit out, will be the hem, and that's not gonna be such a problem. For finishing the side seam at the sleeve, I do what I like to call a faux bar tack. I use a three step zigzag on the wider setting and a zero stitch length. That way the needle moves back and forward instead of the fabric, which means less tangles and, and catches. Lastly, you just need to press up the hem and sew it. This is a twin needle hem, but you can check out our knit hems clip for some other hemming options. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thread Faction Sewn. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. See you next time.